On November 2nd, 2018, Scott Paul barely walked into the Tallahassee Hot Yoga Studio in Tallahassee, Florida and shot six people, all of them women. Two would die in the shooting and Bailey would later commit suicide after being subdued by a bystander. The shooting was motivated by the perpetrator who had a hatred for women. The attack followed a string of far-right activities in 2018 which included the Tree of Life Synagogue shooting in Pennsylvania, a shooting of two African Americans in a store in Kentucky, and an attempt by a suspect to mail several pipe bombs to prominent Democratic leaders in the U.S. This is the story of the Tallahassee Yoga Studio Massacre. Founded in 1824, Tallahassee is the capital of Florida. In 2020, the population was just under 200,000. While not as popular as other Florida cities such as Tampa, Miami, or Orlando, Tallahassee is the governmental seat of the state of Florida. The city is known for its rather quaint, quiet southern hospitality, canopy trees, and two accredited universities, Florida State University, or FSU, and the historically black college of Florida A&M University, also known as FAMU. 2018 was a rather difficult time for the Tallahassee area, which is commonly called by the locals as the Big Ben. The area was in a politically tense mood following the contentious 2018 gubernatorial race between current Republican Governor Ron DeSantis and Democratic contender Andrew Gillum. At the time, Gillum was the mayor of Tallahassee. The area west of the city was devastated by Hurricane Michael, a Category 5 storm that was the worst storm to hit the area in the last 1,000 years. Lastly, the city was experiencing a crime surge. Hot Yoga Tallahassee is a yoga studio that is located in a well-to-do area of Tallahassee known as Midtown. Surrounding the studio are several small businesses, an ABC liquor store, and a hair salon called Hot Heads. The studio is located on the far left of a second floor balcony in a small plaza just off Bradford Road. The studio opened in 2010 and soon became a staple with the community. The studio's clientele consisted of mainly young college-age women. Many would use the studio as an end-of-the-week getaway from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. The studio specialized in a form of yoga known as hot yoga. In hot yoga, the surrounding environment is set to 100 degrees with very high humidity. The purpose of this is to greatly exercise the muscles of the body. At 5.30 p.m. on November 2nd, 2018, the Tallahassee Hot Yoga Studio was preparing for another hot yoga session. Kate Pearson, who had worked in the studio, had turned on the thermostat to 98 degrees and prepared for the evening. The class was made up of 10 participants made of mostly women. However, a man later appeared. He was rather overweight and still in his work clothes. He also had a yoga mat still wrapped in his protective wrapping. No one knew who this person was and he did not appear on the class roster for the evening. He then paid a $12 upfront admission fee and introduced himself as Scott Paul. He expressed concern that the class was not as full as he thought it would be and walked back outside on the breezeway and paced up and down the promenade. As the class began, the man then walked back into the studio. He then pulled out a handgun and began shooting into the class. In several minutes, six people would have been shot and two women would lay dead. 21-year-old Mara Binkley and 61-year-old Nancy Van Vessum. The perpetrator was later identified as Scott Paul Beerley. Beerley's attack was only interrupted when another student named Joshua Quick quickly intervened and subdued Beerley. Beerley then later committed suicide by a gunshot wound to the head. By this time, many around the studio had heard the gunshots and commotion and the police were already on their way. The FBI then later determined that Beerley had attacked the studio because of his hatred for women. Beerley had been a part of the incel community. An incel is someone who voices misogynist views on women due to their lack of finding a romantic partner. Sometimes, members of the incel community have often committed acts of violence. The Tallahassee yoga shooting was the second incel attack that year. The news right now just coming in. Two people shot dead while practicing yoga in Tallahassee. This is brand new video from the scene from just moments ago. Police say that shooter took his own life 
after opening fire. Four others are now in the hospital at this hour with gunshot wounds. Authorities have yet to identify the killer or release a potential motive here. Democratic hopeful for Governor Andrew Gillum is canceling his campaign events tonight so he can return to Tallahassee where he is the mayor. Mara Binkley was born on March 2nd, 1997 in Atlanta, Georgia. She was daughter to Jeff and Margaret Binkley. Mara had graduated from Dunwoody High School in Georgia and moved to Tallahassee, Florida to pursue a course in German at Florida State University. Following graduation from Florida State, she then traveled to Germany to further her studies. She had belonged to the Delta 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 sorority at FSU. Mara was a fan of hip hop music, Wendy's Frosties, and public radio. She was an avid fan of physical fitness and a member of the hot yoga community. Mara Binkley was 21 years old when she was killed. Nancy Van Vessen was born on August 8, 1957. She was well known in the health world in the Tallahassee community. She was the chief medical officer for the Capital Health Plan, a locally based healthcare provider located in North Florida. Yoga was a staple of Van Vessen's life. Whatever she touched, she wanted to make better, said Mark O'Brien, CEO of Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare. She just wanted people to be happy and healthy. At Florida State, she was the clerkship director for the College of Medicine. Nancy Van Vessen was 61 years old when she died. Scott Paul Beerley was born in 1978 in upstate New York. He was one of three children and his dad worked a white collar job. There is not much known about Scott's mother. He was a paper boy and an accolade at his church. In 1997, he was elected vice president of his class. Billy began to express positive views about Adolf Hitler and anti-Semitism. He had an avowed hatred of women and was known to be a loner with very few friends. He did not have a history of good employment and was barred from clubs and social functions due to his bigoted and hateful behavior and comments about religious and ethnic minorities. He was also barred for sexual harassment of some of the female patrons. He had several jobs as a substitute teacher in which he would make insensitive comments towards the female students, asking one girl if she was ticklish below the bra line and another girl that she should pose for Playboy. In 2008, Beerley enlisted in the U.S. Army, but he was discharged due to inappropriate conduct with female personnel. Afterwards, Beerley wrote graphic writings about death, hatred of women, and hatred of minorities. He wrote songs about cannibalism, stalking, and mass shootings. He also made angry diatribes on YouTube depicting his hatred of homosexuals, interracial marriages, Jews, and racial minorities. He also posted racist videos. I see dreadlocks as the black man's mullet. The pants below the butt. Do you realize that's a gay thing? Billy expressed admiration for Ted Bundy and even went to Tallahassee to visit the Chi Omega sorority house where Bundy had killed some of his victims in 1978. Billy had been cited in 2016 for grabbing a woman's buttocks at a pool. Billy was a follower of the incel movement and had sympathized with Elliot Roger, who committed the 2014 Isla Vista attack, and Alec Manassian, who was accused of ramming a stolen van into a crowded pedestrian sidewalk in Toronto, Canada in early 2018. Billy had committed suicide by gunshot wound to the head after his attack was thwarted by another yoga student. Billy was 40 years old when he died. The Tallahassee Hot Yoga Studio Massacre happened during the same time as other far-right attacks were happening in the United States. On October 27, 2018, a man named Robert Gregory Bowers killed 11 people at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Just five days earlier, Gregory A. Bush killed two African Americans outside a Kroger supermarket in Jefferson Town, Kentucky. And also in October, a man named Caesar Sayad Jr. had mailed several pipe bombs to CNN and 13 other Democratic officials and liberal celebrities. The explosives were intercepted and apprehended without harm toward their intended targets. Many analysts blamed the incendiary rhetoric of the then President Donald Trump for the attacks. The attack was yet another gas to the Tallahassee community, which was still reeling from the devastation of Hurricane Michael that had hit the area a little less than a month prior. 
The Tallahassee Yoga community then put on an impromptu memorial in the middle of downtown Tallahassee to honor the victims of both the yoga shooting and Hurricane Michael. Mara Binkley's dad, Jeff Binkley, created Mara's Voice, a nonprofit organization to educate the public on bias motivated crimes and gun violence. The Hot Yoga Studio was then renamed Rising Om Yoga and is still in use to this day. Joshua Quick, who had interrupted Beardley's attack, was commended by the city of Tallahassee, and the city even paid for Quick's college tuition. Quick had used a broomstick and a vacuum cleaner to attack Beardley, which caught him off guard. The Tallahassee hot yoga shooting still haunts the city of Tallahassee, and many will likely remember exactly where they were when the shooting occurred.